buying from the Diploma Repossession Company. Young lady, you owe $80,000 in student loans that you haven't paid in six months. If you don't pay up in full within 24 hours, we're gonna repossess your diploma. <laughs> Teaching this biogenetic class for a couple of years now, and I'm supposed to be up for tenure, but I'm still not sure what's gonna happen. Oh yes, I'm on your tenure committee, and uh, really, uh, you have great marks in teaching, um, but less than half your students are getting uh, jobs after they graduate. Really help your tenure uh, nomination if you could get one of them a job this this coming week. Cleopatra ruled Egypt with Mark Anthony 2,000 years ago. We'll hunt lions on the Nile. Napoleon led an exhibition to Egypt in 1799. His lieutenant, Pierre Bouchard, discovered the Rosetta Stone and the golden crown of Cleopatra. Napoleon's general waited for a ship of reinforcements. When a ship arrived from France, it was full of comedians, magicians, and actresses to entertain the troops. An army of clowns, jesters, and jugglers were no match for the British troops, so the French surrendered. The British let the French keep their exotic Egyptian birds. The French gave the British the Rosetta Stone, but Bouchard hid the crown in a bird cage and smuggled it out of Egypt. In the West Indies, Bouchard sold the crown to Ebenezer Braxton, a ship merchant who brought it back to Boston. Braxton showed the crown to his neighbor, Paul Revere. <laughs> Professor! Hey. Oh my god, what are you doing here? Do you remember me? I was in your class. Yeah, you're my student, my battle Oh class. wow, it's so good I see you. I'm in such trouble, you wouldn't even believe in what trouble I am. Yeah. They're going to they repossess my diploma. I have an $80,000 student loan that I can't pay off. They're going to take my diploma away. I don't have money. I don't know what to do. Can you help? Can you help? Oh. Please, please help. Yeah, well, this is where all the biogenetic companies are in this part of town. And, uh... We'll try to do something for you. Honey. Thank you. You're so nice to help me. I'm so fortunate. Right? <laughs> 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 oh my God! 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 O
sell the tickets. You might as well watch the game. It's the bottom of the ninth with two outs. Yeah, yeah, we got the student here. She's trying to raise like eighty thousand dollars for a student loan. You know, when a guy would give her thirty thousand dollars for one day. Why do you need so much? I do. I really do. I hope you can help me. I really hope you can help me. I sure can. Thirty thousand dollars. If you just take this lion in the car over here down to Connecticut. A lion. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's just a big pussy cat. Just throw him a piece of meat every now and then. Chances are he won't eat you. Professor, what do you think? There's this lion here for thirty thousand dollars. I mean, it's a lot of money. That's really a lot of real armor. Yeah, I could pay off my lawn. All the problems would be solved. Look at the lion. Oh, he's a wild animal. The problem is he's not in the cage, and he looks scary. Really scary. He looks hungry. I know. I know. I mean, he could eat us. Think about it. I mean, it's great money, but we can die. What do you think? Thirty thousand dollars for a hungry lion? I know. I know. I know. What are you saying? I mean, it's no. Crazy. Let's forget about. It. I'm scared. Forget no. about it. Forget about it. We we we. we forget not, about it. Forget no, about no. it. We don't get interested. That didn't work out. But, uh, you know, somebody else will give us thirty thousand dollars. I just got a call that you might be interested in a commercial transaction. Yes, that's true. My friend needs to raise money to pay off a student loan. Yeah, we deal in uh, organ parts. Yeah, what's your proposal? Uh, you know how slow the medical world can be. Oh, we're prepared to pay you $30,000 per kidney. You want our kidneys? No, 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 no. You can, uh, you can uh, go through life pretty well with only one kidney. Oh, I don't know about that. But we want your kidneys, and we want your bones. Body parts for your loans. We got a heart, a liver, a kidney, too. There's not a part we don't want from you. We got scalpels and syringes. We got blue gowns, too. We want your kidneys. We want your bones. Body parts for your loans. No, no, no way, no way. None of these options are gonna work. This is hopeless. What am I going to do? How am I going to pay off my student loan? Logan Smith reporting from Channel 13 News. A local library reports a find of a notebook by Paul Revere. In this notebook, Paul Revere describes examining the crown of Cleopatra. Ebenezer Braxton, you know, your client, the wealthy merchant, just gave me. Uh, he said that he was in the West Indies looking for a sugar plantation when he encountered a French lieutenant who had accompanied Napoleon on Napoleon's expedition to Egypt, you know, when they were going into all those tombs. And he is certain that this is the crown of Cleopatra. My, my. Really interesting piece of artwork. It is. Slogan Smith, Channel 13. We have a follow up to last week's story regarding Cleopatra's crown. Here is a local antique owner. Yeah, I was closing up shop the other night when a woman came by and showed me this object and asked if I would buy it. I told her it was a prop from a 19th century opera. Uh, it looked like that drawing by Paul Revere of Cleopatra's crown that you used on your show. Now, she said she'd either give it away or throw it out. Hi, I'm Professor Samantha Barker Toto, and if this is indeed the gold crown of Cleopatra, and can be authenticated, it could be sold at an art auction for 20 to 30 million. Well, it looks like everyone in Boston is gonna be going on a treasure hunt. Looking through every dumpster, every yard sale, for the golden crown of Cleopatra. We're offering $20 million for whoever finds Cleopatra's crown. Can you imagine? Wow, that could completely solve our problems. Logan Smith, Channel 13. I have some people here on the street. We're going to ask them, what would they do if they found Cleopatra's crown? <laughs> if I find the uh, Cleopatra's crown, 
Patches, Golden Corn, I would definitely find go to travel. No, I don't think I'm going to be selling Cleopatra's crown if I'm the one who's going to find it and I do think I have a very good chance of locating it. Um, I'm going to keep it and I'm, I'm going to wear it. We are searching for Cleopatra's crown all over town. Searching for Cleopatra's crown all over town. If I found Cleopatra's crown, I'd sell it. And I'd buy lions and tigers and giraffes. And I'd build the biggest zoo in America. That's the act of Vic Clay. If I found Cleopatra's crown, it'd be like scoring the final goal in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Hi, this is Sophia Scalera reporting live in Boston. The odds in Las Vegas are 2,000 to 1 that someone from Boston will find Cleopatra's crown. Searching for Cleopatra's crown all over town. I'm gonna find Cleopatra's crown. I'm gonna find Cleopatra's crown. Okay, assholes, come here, take a look. I saw on Facebook that this crown can be. There are reports of fights between people who think they will find the crown. Searching for Cleopatra's crown all over town. Oh, the Cleopatra crown might be in Chinatown. Cleopatra's crown to Boston? Oh, yes, Cleopatra's crown. I, yeah, I saw it on TV. It was uh, Ebenezer Braxton. Oh, yeah, that's the that's guy. Right. Oh, that's thanks right. Right. Yeah. You know, Thank you so much. No Ebenezer Braxton? Let's look at Ancestors.com and um, see if we, maybe we can find his ancestors, his descendants. Here we go. It's Ancestors.com. I'll type his name. Look at this, look at this. There's all kinds of ancestors. Um, yeah, yeah. It looks like he has only one descendant who lives in Boston in the present time. Huh. That's interesting, look at that. Her name is... What's her name? Sandra Peabody. Huh. Where she live? And... Oh my God, she only lives two miles away from here. Oh, wow. Let's go check it out. Yeah. You think Sandra Peabody left the antique store and threw the crown in a dumpster? Yes. This looks 
inside the back of Peabody's apartment. What do you think? This might be it. Look at his back. What is that? It's garbage. I don't think it's garbage. There might be something in it. Let's look. Oh my god. Oh god, I think I found it. I found it. Oh my this god. is the crown of Cleopatra. I found it. I found it. Mommy, we found it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the crown of Cleopatra! The crown of Cleopatra! Whoa. We found it! I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get a cigar to celebrate. That's amazing. I can't believe we found Cleopatra's crown. Your time is almost up. Just where's that eighty thousand dollars you owe on your student loan? Wait a second, just wait. Look, I have something for you, look. Look, look, look here. You could have this gold, your Cleopatra's crown in exchange for the loan. Look at this. Yes? Looks like we've got ourselves a deal. Woo, your great. loan has been officially canceled. Thank you, yes. Yes, finally, finally, thank God. I'm so happy. I finally paid off my loan. You can't. It's over. I paid it off. Can you believe that? How'd you pay it off? Uh, I gave away the crown. You gave away the crown? I did. I did. I, I no. had to. I had no, to. you didn't give away the crown. I know. had to. Oh. Come on. Oh my gosh. No. What are you thinking of? Oh. Okay, don't stress. Don't stress. Oh, no. Don't stress. I gave away the Before crown. Before I gave the crown away, a piece of the crown broke off. Just take a look at it. Take a look at it. Take a look at it carefully. Don't stress. Made in China? 